Uh, I welcome the opportunity to speak on this important piece of legislation. Over the last 11 years, the country has seen a significant improvement in road safety, and there are a number of reasons for this. Firstly, we've seen a dramatic improvement in our road transport network, new motorways, new bypasses have significantly improved our accident rates. And secondly, there has been concerted action from this government, but also from the previous government, in terms of new legislation, and also trying to change our national driving culture. And as the only engineer in the village that's the doll, I'm particularly proud of the role that civil engineers and transport planners have played to make our country's road infrastructure better and improved over the last number of decades. I'm meeting with Engineers Ireland later on today. I'm a member of Engineers Ireland, and I'll be speaking about the role that engineers can play to further improve uh, the transport infrastructure in the country. Because what we've seen is, despite the fact that traffic has risen over the last number of years, we've seen a reduction in the number of accidents on our roads, and, and the transport infrastructure is a key factor in that. But government has also uh, played its part, and I have to say that I don't think the previous government was particularly slow to act. Uh, I think they, that we should be giving credit where credit is due. We saw the introduction of penalty points for traffic violations and roadside mandatory alcohol testing checkpoints. The establishment of the Road Safety Authority in 2006 led to a coordinated campaign across the country to promote safe driving. And last year's Road Traffic Act provided for the lowering of the drink driving limit to 0.05 milligrams from 0.08 milligrams. And it also created a 0.02 milligrams limit for learner drivers. And I, like Deputy McConnell Oak, would like to commend and congratulate the work done by the previous Minister Noel Dempsey for sticking with the legislation. Because I know some people may say it was a long time coming but he was under pressure and I think we all recognise that and he stuck with it and he got the legislation passed and in the process I do think that he has done his country some service. Uh, this reduction of the drink driving limit will have a considerable impact on the safety on our roads. Statistics show that uh, alcohol plays a contributing factor in one out of every three uh, fatal road accidents and Irish people's attitude to drink is also maturing considerably. 90% now think that drink driving is shameful and the shame associated with being caught for drink driving has helped to make last year one of the safest years on record. 212 fatalities were recorded for 2010 and this translates to lives <coughs> saved in every county of Ireland. In my own county of Meath there's been a significant reduction. In 2010 we saw six tragic deaths but that compared to 30, 30 fatalities uh, five years earlier in 2005 and th this improvement has come about because of things like better transport infrastructure, tougher guard interventions and also and most importantly perhaps uh, community communities in Meath working together to reduce uh, the, uh, the uh, number of deaths on our roads. Meath County Council has been very active in relation to road safety. They hired an official with specific responsibility for road safety back in 2007 and they developed a three-year plan to address the whole issue of, of road safety and that plan included visits to schools, education of children, provision of high visibility jackets, uh, cycling tra training, uh, provision of reflective armbands and all those things have helped to make sure that uh, traffic has uh, safety has improved on our roads. Uh, the next road safety plan the next road safety plan of 2010 to 2012 is currently being progressed. Uh, I, I think we can also make improvements at a national level, for instance, Minister, in relation to infrastructure. I know some people have, have said that you should be prioritising certain uh, public transport schemes. I think we have to be very, uh, very aware of the fact that there is limited money available. We have to make sure that any new transport scheme delivers in relation to cost benefit. I'll give you one example. I know it's a local one. It's in relation to the Slane Bypass. It provides better access to the North West for Deputy McHugh's constituents as well as Deputy McConnell Oak's constituents as well as that and improves road traffic safety. It's got a cost benefit of three to one compared to some public transport schemes out there that have cost benefits of perhaps one to one if you're realistic about the way that they're being calculated. So I, I do recognise that you've got a difficult role to play in relation to the allocation of scarce funds when it comes to transport infrastructure. Uh, but bear, bear in mind that I think across the House you will see people uh, who are um, realistic about the limitations that you face and keen to make sure that any investment delivers uh, uh, value for money and we'll be, be, we'll be beside you in that Minister when you come to make your decision. The second thing I think we need to see is better signage on our roads. Uh, we need to make sure that people know where they're going, uh, particularly for people who perhaps aren't too familiar with their surroundings. And I think the third thing that we'd like to do, and this is another request to you Minister, is in relation to our speed limits. In the last number of years we've seen um, some of our national roads which were previously designed for 
100 kph and operating safely at 100 kph, we've seen their limits reduced to 60 kph. And I'll finish on this point, uh, last Kieran Corler. Uh, I'd like to see an audit done of all national roads that have seen their speed, uh, speed limits reduced by 30% over the last five years. I'd like that audit to address the reasons why that reduction was done, and I'd like to see an analysis of the benefits that that's led to, because I personally believe that some of these reductions are actually counterproductive. They lead to drivers getting very, very angry uh, and, and uh, very impatient with the lower speeds. The lower speeds may not be needed, and I, I think we should look at them and perhaps re-evaluate some of these speed reductions. But in conclusion, I'm very happy to support this legislation. I hope to see it uh, uh, leading to even further reductions in, roads, in road deaths, and I, I welcome it. Thank you.